Hi, this is Terrell, graphic recorder and creator of Frame the Message, Inc. This is Picture This. In part one, you'll learn about the art of the sketchnote. Sketchnoting isn't just drawing around your notes. It's not doodling in the margins mindlessly or frivolously. Sketchnoting is content-driven doodling. To sketchnote is to listen carefully, analyze and process information, and then create a visual representation of what's being said. It requires the mind, the heart, and the body to see, hear, and think critically about the message that's being shared. You may be saying, this is exactly how I took notes in college. I just never knew it had a name. Sketchnoting happens in real time while listening to a meeting, presentation, or talk. So my mother, she was a reading teacher. When I was going through school, she was very concerned about me. My mother had seen my notebooks, and quite frankly, she was mortified by what she saw. I couldn't understand what the big deal was. I could read and decipher them just fine. What difference did it make if others could? Because my notes were for me anyway, not for other people. What difference did it make if my notebooks were sloppy? Hmm, maybe she had a point. Sketchnoting has been something that saved me from not only having sloppy notebooks for myself, but helping others to be able to read my notes in a way that made them meaningful for them as well. As a student, lines on the paper disturbed me. It, it disrupted my thinking, it forced me to think in one direction, and to this day, I purposely avoid them. I disrupt the linear line system by ignoring them when they're there, and when possible, avoiding lined paper altogether. You should really try it. It's quite liberating. If you're thinking, yes, but Terrell, there are probably times when linear note-taking is valuable. I was taught all the organizational tools of traditional note-taking. The outline, the header, the subheader, Roman numerals. I got it. I just didn't like it. I mean, really, who says note-taking should only involve words? And here's mostly why I found it frustrating. I'd be going along just fine taking my linear notes just as the teacher instructed, but then what happened when I got to Roman numeral 4, lowercase a, and I want to connect the ideas with my notes up in Roman numeral 1, letter c? I have no method for that. I have no choice but to draw lines, arrows, circles, scratch around the paper to try to get things to connect, and by that time I'd already lost Roman numeral 4. Taking notes like this just didn't work for me while I was taking them, nor did it help me to recall what I'd learned after the fact. That's probably when I developed the coping strategy of just placing the idea anywhere on the page. It just gave me more freedom to connect ideas wherever they organically happened. My mother may have thought I was sloppy, but I think I was just smart. I've always known that I've been pretty unusual in my note-taking style, but in my adult years, I thankfully found a style of note-taking that fit my learning needs best. And I've developed an audience for my note-taking as well. I've learned to master the art of a sketch note. If you were to look at my notebooks then and now, you'd see how I liberated myself and finally put structure and meaning to my illegible chicken scratch. What used to be half-finished sentences are now meaningful images. What used to be disorganized thoughts flooding the page, they're now connected by dots, lines, and arrows. Texts that used to be carved in broken pencil nubs now come from flowing and colorful pens. Sketchnoting has never been about the art for me, as much as a place for expressing ideas, holding on to information, and bringing learning to life. You may be surprised to know that sketch notes really don't require much drawing at all. The purpose of a sketch note is to transform ideas into a visual communication strategy, and this merely requires giving structure to the concepts, and this can really be done with text and a few chicken scratches of your own. The concept of sketch noting isn't new. There's actually a large tribe out there that includes students, adults, organizational leaders, business, CEOs. It's become hugely popular at tech conferences over the past few years. So why? 
Mueller and Oppenheimer actually studied the topic. And in a study published in Psychological Science, they found that taking notes by hand can actually be more effective for learning than taking notes on a computer. Hmm. So, the pen is mightier than the keyboard. Note taking by hand actually requires a slower processing. It makes us think about it as we write it. It makes us process it slower, making it obviously more useful to us and more accessible in our brain in the long run. But while notes in outline form may be good for reference, they aren't always best for recall. So how can visual note-taking help with both? We want to remember what we learn. Visuals stick in our short and long-term memory better than text. Yep, that's right. A study found that participants who viewed only text remembered 10% of what they read after three days, but those who viewed text paired with visuals remembered 65% of the information three days later. In taking visual notes, we go beyond regurgitating information. And instead, in the moment, we interpret, analyze, and synthesize information in our very own heads. We also want to be able to go back to our notes when we don't remember what we learned. Visuals can serve as a quick reference tool. Research actually tells us that the majority of students in regular classrooms need to see information as well as hear it in order to learn it. Some common visual strategies actually uh, in classrooms include graphic organizers, diagramming, mind mapping, and so many more. So how can sketch noting fit into the routines in which you help your students learn to take notes more effectively? Tapping into the visual parts of our brain can actually make us smarter. So here are just a few of the many benefits as you nurture the art of sketchnote in yourself or others. Research in both educational theory and cognitive psychology tells us that visual learning is among the best methods of teaching students of all ages how to think and learn. There's no right or wrong way to sketch note. Just find your style and get to sketching. In module three, parts two through four, you'll learn the basics for creating your own stellar sketch note. <laughs>